Hello, this is Raven and this is a reading for Tuesday. Welcome to my channel. I'm doing some tarot. I'm doing some witchcraft. I'm doing some crystals. So let's see what's going on today for all of us as a collective, for each of us um, rolling forward from holidays and eclipses and the moon is waning again and here we are so Tuesday what have we here we have the high priestess thank you mama we have the six of pentacles another six we had that yesterday and the Queen of Pentacles. Ooh, that's a really nice feminine balance here between the Pentacles and this um, High Priestess, which is so mm, kind of interior and ethereal, ethereal. And then these Pentacles, which are um, the suit of Earth and are always manifested and, and a little more grounded. So let's start with this lady. The Queen of Pentacles. Um, this is the heart of Earth, the watery part of Earth, the intuitive part of Earth, the intuitive part of being in a body. The Queen, the when you put heart into material manifested world, you get sensuality. You get um, lovely rolling around in your own body. You get the pleasures of being embodied. I always think of the Queen of Pentacles. I think she's got like her little bunny rabbit there or something, but she is, um, I imagine her presiding over a feast and kind of being the mother of the, of the den and, um, you know, providing comfort and pr providing the pleasures of being alive and in a body for others as well as fully inhabiting that herself so the queen of pentacles when we're talking about the um it's sort of like um when where intuition meets um your material world the the work that you're creating how you're expressing your passion how you're taking care of your body how you're allowing your body to be a vehicle for intuition i'm really feeling this today because i'm on a fast <laughs> and this is second almost third day of not eating a goddamn solid thing and um, i'm doing that so that my body can become an intuitive like extra finely tuned to my intuitive voice at this time it just felt appropriate for what um i'm the process i'm going through spiritually so you know how is the, can the body today become an instrument of the intuitive mind of the intuitive senses um i think that intuition is sometimes confused as like a sort of a mental knowing and of course it can be that clear clear cognizance or something but um you know it's very very often a physical experience intuition is a physical experience as often as it is an emotional or an intellectual experience and also coming out today in the six of pentacles Actually, I'm going to put this one down and pick up this one first because I feel like these two need to talk to each other a little bit. We have the, uh, the High Priestess. Yes, the High Priestess. The number two. Um, in numerology, this is, what is it? It's like the um, the first step of coming into being before it actual creativity like before manifestation happens there's sort of like the knowledge the the blueprint i'm not sure if i'm really expressing this <laughs> exactly how i want but um this is gnosis this is sophia the wisdom inherent in the world the intelligence inherent in not just creation but the uncreated so this is a really um, esoteric card 
and she's holding a scroll and the scroll is um it's supposed to be the Torah or something but what it means is that this is here for everyone this is as esoteric as the experience of the high priestess is this is absolutely available to any single one of us through cultivating inspiration through having a spiritual practice through um you know as i'm in the witchcraft tradition just being in sync with the moon here she is like resting on her crescent moon so um yeah the doors to intuitive knowing are wide open um, and the ways that we can experience that today are really through the body. High Priest is coming through the body, I think, and coming into the ways we're nourishing ourselves physically. And then the Six of Pentacles comes through. So let's see, what is the Six of Pentacles about? Um, it's certainly about money, obviously. Um, and certainly about kind of making decisions around money that have um, power play in them. You know, there's sort of like a triangle happening here. This is a little bit of a pyramid structure um, in which there's one person deciding the fate of some other people who are needing that coin and needing that gold. And so this is coming up for us in some way, the questions on how we're spending our money ethically, um, whether the work that you're doing out in the world is really um, coming through in an equitable way that supports you, whether you're the person on the top, the middle, or the bottom of that pyramid. These are the questions that are coming into play. And they're coming into play in these kind of really spiritual ways because it's the, it's the freaking high priestess and, and the queen of pentacles who is so integrated, has integrated intuition and emotion into the work um, of being in the body, meaning work. The work of being in the body is work, is career, is your job. Um, and so this is how this is coming together today with um, these questions of being in balance and right livelihood, right? So there's some right livelihood issues coming up and I think that we can trust them because they are, trust that those questions are the right questions to ask and that the answers to those questions are leading us um, into this spiritual alignment um, and that there is some real knowing, there is some real spiritual knowing happening coming through the high priestess in these questions of right livelihood and in our ability to just be the queen of our own bodies, to be, to have um, intuitive life come through the body and come through the work of living. And that's what I got. Yeah, that was a good little channel. So, um, thanks guys. I hope that this hit the spot for you and that you will like and comment and watch all the way through all those things help me in my quest to get this to more people. Um, I would love if you feel called to it to click on the banner or click on the bio and you will be led to the place where you can find <laughs> me and my services, um, a full reading for yourself. I do them um, remotely, of course, and as well as um, some healing here in Los Angeles. So much love to you, and I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.